Majesty Entertainment created a five-member girl group known as Purplebeck. The ladies started out in 2019 and they are still together despite many speculations. So where are they? Well, let's talk about it. Yerim, Mini, Yawul, Seyun, and Layun debuted on June 24th, 2019 with the EP entitled track Crystal Ball. This was a super energetic and fun debut. The ladies sing and dance so well. Definitely didn't feel like they were rookies to me. They are very optimistic about who they are and just having a good time. This EP placed number 54 on the charts and it sold around 500 copies. On September 30th, 2019, Purple Beck came back with the single album Dreamline. This is another fantastic song from the ladies. I love this comeback so much. This is like my favorite Purple Beck song. Their outfits were so interesting and cool. And the dance was pretty decent as well. My favorite part of the chorus um, is like, I just honestly like my favorite part is the chorus. Like the entire chorus itself is just like amazing. It's super catchy and I love songs that sound really unique. The ladies are very confident in this song, letting us know that they are here to shine and do their very best. The single placed number 26 on the charts and it sold around 876 copies. On March 21st, 2020, the ladies gave us another EP called Starry Night with the title track, Valenti. <laughs> was a sweet and super cute comeback way more chill than the previous ones the ladies look so beautiful in this video prancing around in their sweaters and confessing their love to their love interest um i really like the part in the video where they start flipping their hair is so adorable the ep plays number 25 on the charts and it sold over 1.2k copies on march 2nd 2021 majesty entertainment released a statement in regards to Minnie and so young apparently they had some situation going on where they were both getting surgery and the statement reads hello beckys this is majesty entertainment Minnie recently underwent lace Six surgery to correct her vision and say Yan is scheduled to undergo surgery for septum deviation soon. I would like to inform you that the SNS activities of these two members will inevitably inevitably be limited for the time being. We have instructed them to rest for the few, next few weeks so that Minnie and Se Yan can fully recover. Therefore, I hope our fans will not worry about Minnie and Se Yan if you do not see them on SNS for a few weeks. Imagine the entertainment considers the health of its artists as its top priority and we hope that ongoing monitoring of our artists will allow us to continue to produce beautiful music thank you so yeah i hope their surgeries went well and they obviously recovered well you know this happened last year so they should be good now 
Apparently, though, Layan has also been on hiatus since the summer of 2021. I'm unsure if this is confirmed by the company, but I saw a post on Twitter that says she is no longer in the group. Something about broken promises and online activity restrictions as to why she's not in the group. I'm not sure how credible that is, seeing as the company hasn't given any official statements as far as I could find. It's safe to say, though, that this may actually be true seeing as Layan was not in the collaboration project that Purple Beck featured on for Rodrigo Sousa, I hope I said his name right, on April 15, 2022. I'm also not sure if Minnie is still in the group as well. Again, a user on Twitter hinted that she may have parted ways with the group. But again, I couldn't find anything solid on that as well. Please let me know if you guys know if this is true. Is Minnie still in the group? So the company's website doesn't seem to have been updated in a while. They promised a comeback will be coming soon. Like they said this like in December of 2021, but so far the ladies have only done that one project with Rodrigo and nothing else so far has been released from Purple Beck this year. The year is not over though. We still have one more month to go and there's still like half of this month left. So the ladies could very well release something. We don't know. Fingers crossed. Um, But as far as the company's website, it is such a mess. Every time I go on there, there's like, these weird boxes and it's like you can't really see the information it looks like it hasn't been up in a like been updated in a really 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 long time so i don't know what's going on with them information on this group is extremely scarce and limited so please share with me what you guys know down below i thought i'd be presenting more answers in this video but i feel like all i left was more questions because i'm still confused as to what is going on with purple bag like i said their last project was earlier this year which wasn't even their project they were featuring on someone else's so that leads me to believe that they are not disbanded like i said they are still very much so together we just don't know what's going gone with the company and why they haven't released any music of their own but let me know like what you guys think is going on with purple bag um do you think that they're headed in the direction of disbandment considering the lack of communication the company has been giving us or do you think they'll pull through and give us a proper comeback you know like what we've been waiting for um let me know if you guys have any helpful information to share about purple bag and until the next video i'll see you around my salam.